everybody. Thank you so much for clicking on the video. I appreciate it. I have been gone for quite some time. Life got in the way and kind of took me down for a little bit, but I think we've got everything straightened out and I should be back on a more regular basis. So this video is an unboxing of Brookside Orchids. Now these orchids I received right before life took me down back on the 26th of May. And as those of you who've been watching for a while know, I love, love, love my Brookside Orchids. 90% of the orchids that I've ordered online have come from Brookside's. They always come packaged very well. Delivery is amazing. And of course, the plants themselves are just very healthy and I have yet to lose any orchids from Brookside. Just a little side note there. No, I am not sponsored by them in any way. And also a side note, the Catlatonia Why Not? I keep calling it a Catatonte in the video. However, it is a Catlatonia Why Not? So just getting that clarification. So go ahead and leave your comments below if you have any of the orchids that I'm unboxing or if you've ordered from Brookside, what's your experience? And if you don't mind, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe if you enjoy the content. Hope everyone is having a beautiful day and let's get on with the unboxing. Hello and welcome back to my orchid chantel and welcome to the living room here in Denver, Colorado. So what I have here is my latest Brookside orchids order. It came earlier today. Um, I had my family open the box so we could, you know, acclimate, get some air. I've already taken them out of the box and the two plastic bags that it came in, I've uncut where they were taped together and now it's time to dig in. I'm so excited. So we're just gonna do this one that's right here in the front. Just cut down. Matter of fact, maybe, let's see if I can just reach nope but i bet trying to figure out a better way to do this is just maybe rip it out of here and then slide it up yep that will work all right so what do we have in here let us see so i had my anniversary my 28th yeah, 28th anniversary uh, earlier this month of May, and I kind of went on a little celebratory shopping spree here. So, this one here is a, I believe a cat Leia. I'm not sure. We'll have to dig in here and see what we got. I don't see the tag quite yet. Hopefully it is in there. They're usually pretty good about sending the tags, but one can never be sure. So far, I've always gotten the tag and it's got tissue in it instead of the usual little fluffy stuff, the, the cloud stuff that I call it. Let's carefully take this out. I don't want to ruin anything here. And it looks like it is in spike, which is awesome. Um, most of the ones that I got are either in spike or um, blooming size. So this one here is the, oh, I've wanted this one for so long. This is the, uh, I believe it's the Catatante, why not? And it's the red one. And that's amazing because, let me take this big stick out so you can see. Look, 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 we have a spike. So she hopefully will go ahead and bloom out for us so we can see those beautiful red blooms. And she is, grown from a seedling as you can tell here her latest growth now she is starting to lose a leaf here I'm not sure why that is I'll have to investigate that further but there's lots of beautiful roots in that pot so we are not complaining and she unlike most of the time when I just want to repot everything all of these unless they need a repot are going to stay in their pots I got them with until they outgrow them We'll set her to the side and let's just do this one next. And I'll do it the same way as far as let's go up underneath here. Hope everybody's having a wonderful day. I was looking so forward to this and it is my Friday. I work uh, Monday through Thursday, 10 hour shifts. So today is my Friday. And these were supposed to come yesterday, but FedEx sent me a message that it was delayed ah this one has two in it all right love how these guys pack they're so efficient 
let's see let me take you've got the sticks together with the little hooks there and it is also taped let me be very careful so as not to damage the one underneath bear with me real quick if you have the catatante i believe it's the catatante why not um leave it in the comments below and leave me some tips on the best practice as far as to keep it going here in my living room where the ambient temperature is anywhere from 74 to 76. all right let's see um oh we've got the roots are all caught in there okay so this uh this one here is the epicatlea renee marquis tyler right there I know a lot of people have this one and the blooms are just amazing. So we have, this looks like the latest growth and looks like she is maybe working on her terminal leaf. Now she is blooming size and this one right here is kind of droopy, but I will give her some water cause she does feel a bit dry and see if we can't perk that back up. Otherwise I'm just gonna leave it there and see what it does but isn't she just gorgeous and I'm probably going to more than likely stake this one up just to keep her from being too wanky there let me get that tag back in there so there's our Renee Marquis and in the same little set up here let's take this off here another little strappy one this one is the wrinkle wrinkle vola david sander again quite a few people have this one as well big beautiful flowers on it let's see what our plant looks like on the inside telling you guys if you want a good order that comes in great shape with great plants in good condition you cannot go wrong with brooksides i have ordered from other companies that you know they do well but they're kind of hit and miss where brookside i have yet to get an order where i've had any issues like seriously and their customer service as well is amazing let me put this bark back in here so it does look like she is in looks like probably medium orchiata bark which to us would be small bark some perlite and we have us a new growth right here and then this one here looks like it's growing and then this is the largest of the newest so that is beautiful and again blooming size so not yet in bloom or spike of course but blooming size so that is the david sander let's see what else we got here there should be a total of six here guys so we'll have to have to look and see oh i did say i was going to go from the bottom didn't i see if we can't there we go now this is a big one with a little one looks like strapped into it so give me a few minutes let me concentrate to make sure i don't mess anything up because that one on the renee marquis i may have been the one that broke that little piece because she was attached to another plant all right we'll take these off and this one is also in bike so let's give me give me a second get the tapes off and let's get our fuzzy cloud off of here as well being very very careful uh, let me move you up just a wee bit there so you can kind of see what i'm talking about i'm just going to be really careful taking this off because she is in spite oh up 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 see see what i mean just not paying attention there we go just be very gentle and the oh these buds are already all nice and swollen so we should see something here shortly let's see there we go and let's gently remove that there we go now they have this kind of zigzag for it to go over but i think maybe if i move this up just a little bit it'll hold her a little better but more than likely i will take one of these off but here we have 
guess it would help if I tell you what it is, huh? So this is the Bella, Bella Lara Isabella Lunar Eclipse. There we are. Big, beautiful, if I remember correctly, yellow uh, blooms. But let me show you the buds. So we should be seeing those in the next couple of days because they're almost ready if they didn't get damaged in the shipping. This one kind of looks a little shriveled, but we'll keep an eye on it. And they are kind of damp, moist, not wet. So I will not be giving them any water today. Um, but let's see, it is blooming off of this growth right here. And she has two new growths here on the back. So once I see some root growth, I will have to repot her because she is all the way in the back of the pot and I don't want her growing out of this pot. All right, we'll move her over, he oh, over here and I'm gonna move her kind of sideways. There we go. Let's see what else we had in that same little set up there. Let's see, will it get the tape off? If you've ordered from Brookside and you've not had a good experience, leave that in the comments below because I will be very surprised if anyone says that they've not had a good experience with Brookside's. Like their orchids, their customer service, everything about them is amazing. All right, let's see what we have here. Take that out. And here, uh, we have a miniature dendrobium. It's Dendrobium laviflorum, laviflorium variation arunum. And I am chopping up those words. And give me just one second while the dogs chat with each other. One is inside, one is outside. And there it is. There's the name. And it is a miniature dendrobium. So she is inside of this little net pot here. And I do believe this one will be getting some water. It will be getting its, as Nina calls it, the welcome cocktail of CalMag. I may add seed weed, but initially I usually just do the CalMag at about 100 parts per million. So she does need some water, uh, quite droopy leaves there. But it's a miniature and I really, really like the way that the uh, Lindleyi is growing for me. So I figure why not get another miniature dendrobium? I don't have space for the big ones. And let's see. So we should, this should just be one more. So let's see what we've got in here. Uh, let's go from the bottom. So I got another package from Brookside with two orchids in it. Um, once I'm unpacking these, I'll pause it and I'll run grab those and show them to you. But I wasn't paying attention and I cut a leaf off of one of them. So I'm trying to avoid that this go around. All right, let's see. Take off our little cloud cover here. And, ah, this is the fountain. Mm, yes, okay. So of course you guys know I cannot place an order without getting a Phalaenopsis. Um, for those of you who've been watching me for a while know how much I love my Phalaenopsis and how I am wanting to kind of grow my novelty summer fowl, species fowls, um, this year. So here is another one, summer fowl. And this is a cross between LD's Bear King and um, Bellina Eagle. It's the Phalaenopsis Maichu King Bellina. It is, the flowers are very, very similar to the Bellina flowers, but they look a little different. So um, look at the juicy roots on this girl. Okay, hold on, let me see. I'm trying to get her out of this because she's inside here in a pot, in a pot. So let's see if I can do this without breaking any of those aerial roots. And again, for those of you who've been watching me for a while, know how I love my roots. Love looking at the roots. Oh, we've got us a little fern traveler here. And if I were growing in a greenhouse or outside, I'd probably leave the ferns, but they do tend to get out of hand and I don't want it in my collection. But look at the leaves once this relaxes. Look, let me take this big stake out. 
Look at those big leaves. This is one of the attractions for me of the summer novelty species flat fowls is these big leaves that just kind of flop and droop. And again, this one is a continuous bloomer from what I've read and understood. Oh my goodness, look at those roots on there, how shiny and beautiful. And she does have some new roots already growing. So I will probably go ahead in the next few days, I'll give her about a week or two to get acclimated, but I will be repotting her as soon as possible into my mixture, which is bark and moss and getting her under my barina lights with the rest of the girls. But I will be, again, giving her about a week or two to acclimate before I do that. But I do have those new roots growing, so I wanna take advantage of that so that she continues to provide roots for herself. And she is, again, blooming size. And let me get the girls all together so we can see what they all look like. But I'm gonna, before I do that, I'm gonna go pause it. I'm going to go grab the other two I was just telling you about and then come back and we'll look at all of them together. I'll be right back. But look at her. Oh my gosh, she's so pretty. Okay, so the other two that I got, so I, um, this one is a replacement. The first one that I got, I got from a different vendor. It came kind of in shady condition. It went downhill really, really fast. But I was determined to get another one, so I saw this one, and they only had like three left, so I was like, I have to place this order now. So I did. So what this is, is the Renanthera Monachica. Now, according to their picture that they showed, this one is the reddish-orange one bloom, but we'll have to wait for her to bloom out to see. But, yeah. So if I can find a picture of the one I had before from a different company, not from Brookside's, I will show you, but... She came already growing this leaf right here, and I've had them for about a week. So they're still acclimating, but she is a nice healthy one. She's got this nice root right here, and it did. this got damaged when I was unpacking. So I do water this one about every other day. And then I've been keeping her in this little holder thing here with some rock at the bottom, with a little bit of water, just to kind of help create that humidity. So there's the Renanthera Monachica replacement. So I guess we'll, I would call her 2.0, but since I did not get her from, I didn't get the original one from the same nursery, I'm just, she's just Renanthera Monachica. And then the other one that I got that I cut the leaf off of is this Makotis Patola. Let me show you here. There we are so look at her and if you've never touched one of these in real life it has that velvety look and guys guys stop 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 you don't know what she's barking at stop stop all right sorry about that again guys but if you've never touched one of these leaves it is just as velvety as it looks can you, I mean, look how velvety that looks. And when the light hits it, there's a, a, a night, oh, it's just a crystalline sheen. It's gorgeous, just absolutely gorgeous. She is in all moss. I've been keeping the moss moist. Um, again, she's been sitting in this little holder here with, and I put just enough water to keep it, the humidity, because they do like a higher humidity. And they are both still in the acclimating process, so they're not in their permanent homes. I've got them in a little bit of a lower light um, where they can kind of get settled in, get used to the new temperature, the new setting, and then gradually I will move them to where I'd like them to be. But this new leaf growth, I had to pause it for a second to quiet the dogs down. Sorry about that. But this right here is the leaf I was telling you I cut, and when I cut it, she was a little short. If I can find the clip, because I did kind of um, tape the unboxing, but I didn't talk through it, I just kind of unboxed. If I can find that, I'll add it to the end of this, and if you want to watch it, go ahead and watch that. So you can kind of see she was a little bit smaller than this. She's grown quite, quite a bit in the last two weeks, so. I love this one. I think what I want to do is the little smaller one that I have in the self-watering 
uh, pot. I think I want to put both of them kind of in something together, maybe with a cloche or maybe a, a little small terrarium. I haven't quite decided, but I just think this is so beautiful. And like I said, these leaves are just as velvety feeling as they look. If you have this orchid, give me some ideas of how I can grow it in my home here in Colorado. Um, very low humidity 90% of the time. The highest it gets in the summer is 30% um, because I do keep my windows open quite a bit. Um, even when the AC is on, I think the highest it gets might be 38, but nothing over 40. So usually 30%. So any ideas, leave them in the comments. I'd appreciate it. And we will just pan around down here and take a last look at the ladies. If you have any of these, any advice, let me know. Yes, I have done my research on them, so I have an idea of where I will grow each one of them. But you know what? Tips are always welcome. Hope everyone is having a beautiful end of spring, almost summer, and we'll see you on the next one.